All right, folks, welcome back for the latest on Dominion voting machines and Georgia. Turn now to attorney Lynn Wood. He defended the Covington Catholic High School kids after several fake news outlets tried to ruin their lives with false accusations. Joins us now by phone. Mr. Wood, it is a pleasure to speak with you here on the Chris Salcedo Show. Now, I know your lawsuit wasn't successful, and as you probably are aware, Georgia just certified their election. What are next steps in your mind? Well, let me say this. My lawsuit uh, is not over yet. There's some confusion on whether the judge simply denied a motion for a temporary injunction or dismissed the case. If he did the latter, we're going to go on an emergency basis to the 11th Circuit. Our case is solid. The Secretary of State of Georgia acted unlawfully when he changed the rules of the absentee ballots without the legislators in Georgia approving it. But let me just stop and tell you something else on a very related and important subject. My 501c4 foundation, hashtag fight back, with the help of tens of thousands of freedom-loving Americans and some last-minute big help from actor Ricky Schroeder and my pillow founder, Mike Lindell, we got Kyle Rittenhouse out of jail today in Kenosha. That boy is finally free after being in jail since August the 25th when all he did was go to Kenosha to help people and then had to defend himself when he was attacked. So Kyle Rittenhouse, with the help of tens of thousands of Americans, we raised $2 million in cash. That's what they required. Kyle Rittenhouse is going to be home with his family tonight. That's news worth celebrating. Absolutely, Mr. Wood. And you know what, just to expand on that briefly, if I can just uh, ask you to comment, what is the status of his case? Because as everybody knows, for those of you who don't remember, Kyle Rittenhouse was up up there where many Black Lives Matter individuals and a lot of Antifa thugs were trying to torch and loot and burn and harm Americans. And Mr. Rittenhouse was attacked by these individuals. Video shows that he was attacked by these individuals and he defended himself. And of course, a lot of leftists in this country believe you don't have a right to defend yourself from left-wingers who are trying to threaten and intimidate you. So where does the case stand right now, Mr. Wood? Well, my foundation assembled criminal defense lawyers to defend Kyle, and there is a preliminary hearing set for December where they'll have to show evidence to bind this boy over. And I will tell you this, there's not one iota of evidence to support the charges against Kyle Rittenhouse. All he did, and it's captured from start to finish on videotape, all Kyle did was to defend himself when attacked. So... Justice is going to be served. I'd like to see it happen sooner as opposed to later, but I'm confident in his innocence and that one day the system will work and Kyle Rittenhouse will get these case, these charges dismissed because the boy is guilty of nothing except being a good deed doer who defended himself. Yeah, a lot of left-wing news outlets may have to a lot of crow to eat after, after that happens. Let me give you, bring it back to Georgia because... We were finding thousands of votes here, thousands of votes there, thousands of votes there that weren't counted. And the president has taken issue with the recount, saying that all they did was recount a bunch of invalid ballots. Can you expand on, on what they did in Georgia? What was not so on the up and up there? Uh, I would say on nothing. <laughs> the whole election was a fraud. You're going to find, I believe, in litigation that will be filed by the president that this infection was this in, this election was infected by a scam, a fraud perpetrated through the voting machines where software was installed to manipulate the vote, vote flipping. The second prong of their fraud when they tried to steal our presidency was in paper mail in ballots. Now my lawsuit deals with the absentee mail in ballots. I can tell you that when they did the recount recently, every county in this state was full of fraud and misdoings and irregularities. They didn't allow people to watch. They, in fact, uh, did not match signatures. They just recounted the same false votes that they counted the first night. So I believe that this certification by the Secretary of State hmm. is going to be overturned in the courts. 
I will tell you straight up. All right. The governor of Georgia. Well, let, let me, you know, if I could, Republican. because, yeah, go ahead. No, I simply wanted to say, even though he's a governor uh, and he's a, Rep a Republican, be careful who you think are true Republicans and conservatives right now. The label doesn't mean much. The governor of Georgia yeah, and the secretary well. of state of Georgia have made deals with this voting machine and with COVID uh, medical equipment they bought from China. There's a lot of China money mm -hmm. involved in this country right now. And a lot of it found its way to the governor and the secretary of state of Georgia. They don't want this election to go against uh, Donald Trump because Donald Trump's Department of Justice may very well be looking at those people in the near future. But President Trump won. Well, He's never going to concede. It was a landslide victory. All right. Well, that brings me to, to the, the last question I wanted to ask you about the Dominion voting machines. Uh, George W. Bush's former press secretary, Dana Perino, is out there saying that Dominion ought to be suing, these Dominion voting machines uh, companies ought to be suing uh, Sidney Powell and others calling into question the integrity of, of their voting machines. However, uh, Dominion voting machines not showing up uh, to talk to legislators, their offices are reputed to be sh shutting down. They're scrubbing social media. They're scrubbing the internet of their presence. They can't be found all of a sudden. Uh, why would it be perilous for Dominion voting machines to sue Sidney Powell? Doesn't that some, something called discovery, that could be problematic for Dominion, couldn't it? Problematic would be putting it mildly. I have a focus in defamation law, and I will promise you, just like the governor and the secretary of state are not going to sue me for calling them corrupt, Dominion isn't going to sue anybody. Dominion is corrupt. Dominion was formed in Venezuela, found its way over to Canada, and then they got software installed where our votes found their, their way over to Barcelona and Frankfurt, where software manipulated the vote that was reported in real time by a company called Clarity. I have to tell you this. Dominion <clears throat> is not going to sue anybody. Uh, Dominion better save its money uh, for criminal defense. If they did make the mistake of suing, you're right. Discovery will open up their cookie box and every damn lie will be revealed. Pardon my language. No, no, sir. I think in this in these times we live in, it's it's wholly appropriate. Lynn Wood, it is a pleasure to talk with you, sir. Come back soon here to the Chris Salcedo Show. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.